Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series of Hearts Planet 4. Today we are going to be going back into the Millennium Dawn mod. It's been actually a few months since we last played it. Um, so I believe there's been some updates. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going down uh, the Italian focus tree. And we're going to become the Roman Senate. Because that's a little bit strange. So, you know, let's do it. See where it goes. But for us to become the Roman Senate, we need to go down to the old ways. And now the only way to go down the old ways is that we need to remove um, European Union. So we need to leave the European Union, obviously. So in order for us to leave the European Union, I do believe we need to just um, do a withdrawal. Which I think we can do like right away. EU policy, then withdrawal. Article 50. One of all, it must be true. Conservative, reactionary, conservatives, and your skepticism above uh, 50%. So who can I get it done the easiest with? Everyone's right-wing populist, fascist. There was other than the above and your stuff. So I believe if we are fascist, we can just leave right away. So that, that's going to be our uh, our idea here. Um, we got a bunch of decisions that we can take. We want to go for the Nationalist Obby. It's going to cost us 75 million? Yeah, 75 million uh, dollars. So that's 750 million. Doesn't really matter. We're either going to do the uh, propaganda campaign anyways. So we do have some money up here. We have no national investments. We have 68 billion in the treasury. We're 1.7 trillion dollars in debt. Also, is it just me or is this game extremely loud for some reason? Uh, we'll turn down the music slightly here. Uh, so we are starting off with 28, 18, 7, so pretty okay factories. Uh, we have 11 divisions. I'm not, I've never been too good at um, combat in Millennium Dawn. There's like so many options that it's actually insane. We'll have a border with France, even though I don't think we're going to be going to war. At least not super early. Now uh, the problem, of course, is that we are currently in NATO. Uh, we are in the European Union. We need to get out of here ASAP. Uh, technology research. So it is the year 2000. Um, they actually added engineering and industrial technology. That was not in the game last time I played. So they at least have some new stuff here. So you know what? Let's get some uh, 405 days for 1995 tech. So we'll get this done. Uh, we'll get mobile radar mass. I don't think we need that right now. What do you give us? Production efficiency cap going up would be nice. Just like all the basic industrial stuff for now. What are you? You have no effects. Okay, so we won't. We will not do that. And get some AI. Most of these will be done uh, within a year. Um, what else can we eventually do? We can combat for influence. Um, we have nine percent euro skepticism, eighty-five point seven percent Europeanism. So we need to boost up euro skepticism as fast as possible. Um. Do your skepticism. We're we like the European well enough. Who likes them the least? Sweden actually likes them the least right now, followed by Austria and the United Kingdom. Of course, we are going to spend a hundred million dollars to fund a Euro skepticism campaign. And you know what? Fund it, fund it across the entire European Union as well. We got some major offices here. I don't know what clickiness does. So we got the European Central Bank. Everybody's in debt. Yeah, we can't leave this until we have uh, invoked Article 50, which is going to take us a little while to do. Uh, we don't want to leave um, NATO, at least not quite yet. There, as you can see, there are many, many options here. Also counterterrorism in the Middle East. Uh, so far, the biggest threat apparently is Yemen. But uh, radicalization is significant. It's fine for now. And we can also recognize some countries, but I we can recognize the Taliban, but we don't have enough political power to do that quite yet. So, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff in here. Apparently, these helicopters are already out of date. We apparently have the 2015 helicopters. We're a very advanced nation. Uh, so, we will ignore you for now. We are missing some resources because apparently we're very poor. But what do we actually need? We're not missing out on anything as far as I can tell. So, you know, let's just go for infantry fighting vehicles, a little bit of you. I don't know why we have two things of helicopters. I don't believe we need those. Um, actually, I'm going to have the game run for just a second. 
what are we missing out on? Because the game never actually starts with everything. We need airborne APCs and engineering tanks. We can get some of those going. Engineering tanks are here. And then airborne APCs. So get these going as well. Why do we have so many tra helicopters? We don't need we don't need all these transport helicopters. They're really not necessary. We have a handful more. So you know what? Let's go for you're fine. Let's go for a few more APCs. Um, some more helicopters. We don't need transportation aircraft, I think. We have three more. You know what? Let's build some tanks as well. That seems okay. Uh, we'll deploy... You guys have, like, no strength. Start strength 1%. You guys are horrible. Wow. Okay, I didn't really see that coming. Oh, now we're missing way more stuff. Uh, a lot of stuff, actually. So we need... Why is the game not starting off with all this stuff? I don't know. So we need CSC equipment... We need... Just hide the boats. I don't really care about the boats at all. We need man pads. Which are in here somewhere. Then we need... ATM and mounted ATMs. Uh, mounted ATM. And then just a regular ATM. Artillery. self propelled artillery. Small arms and a recon tank. Small arms. Uh, we saw the recon tank in here. Following that, we are looking at artillery and then self-propelled artillery. I'm assuming these are both in here. Now we're self-propelled artillery. It might be in you. Recon tank, self-propelled artillery. I think it's this one. So that should be everything. Fantastic. Uh, of course, we are broke. So we'll import uh, some goods from everybody that we can. We have the, we have the factories for now. Um, so let's import some of this. And I believe fuel is also used for construction, right? Yes. Um, unlike in the base game. So we are going to need a little bit of petroleum. We'll get that. Not from Saudi We'll get a a a a a Let I'll trade with Saudi Arabia. Three factories for you. And now we just want to crank out military factories because we were kind of lacking in that for sure. And now we should be good. Deploy all of our aircraft as well. Coal bombing has happened. But it's 2000. When I was just merely a wee child. Because I need to deploy this a little bit faster. Well, actually, what I should be doing is I should be getting these to be like this. You guys combine. I know if you train something... I want you to deploy instantly. This is probably going to actually make me want to train more uh, planes, but that's fine. Oh, you guys out. There are so many types of aircraft that, uh, why do we need this many? Can at least get these two to go together. Deploy the transports. There we go. We've at least got something here going. We have 444 aircraft. I don't know how that compares to everybody else. Like, France has about 1,000. Germany has about 600. The course question is, who does the United States have? Oh, probably about, like, 10,000 fighters. That's... I'm sure that's good. When we eventually form uh, Rome and try to... We need... We got, let's just get some dock. Uh, some... Uh, to, 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 where are my convoys? Let's build up some of those guys. Where did they go? Right, right here. There we go. So let's put the rest in the convoys for now. Apparently things need upgrading. No, no, it looks fine. Okay. Uh, we do need more steel. Like, I just wish Italy had any amount of natural resources. Okay, we need to keep funding. We don't need to worry about you. Close this. I don't know, what does the infantry tab do? Oh, we can just buy guns. Okay. Uh, we will close that for now. But I appreciate the offer. Adopt the EU law. Like, I don't want to... Apparently, I've done it. Whatever, whatever the law was, I agreed to it. But we need to fund Euroskepticism as much as humanly possible. But this, this stinky Europeanism. We don't want that. We are at... 
when we do hold elections, 5% will get you into the, uh, how pop popular are any of the, the right wing? The biggest is Nega Nord, Lega Nord, what the hell does that even mean? At 7%, and then we have, uh, 2.6 for the tricolor. We're about, we're about 10% roughly support. Um, who is our biggest adversary? It is going to be basically all of the normal liberal parties. Bono list, the Greens. So, basically, who you would expect. I mean, can I... I can't boost. 100 political power to boost them. Because you just want one of these guys to win the election. We're at 9.9% now. How much uh, political power do you get? You get 2.7. Because, yeah, you, I do remember you getting a lot of... We don't even need the tra helicopters. Did I not deploy them? Do they not? Are they considered, um... How do you use the helicopters then? Are they just not, you know, delete them then? Apparently we don't actually need them at all. You shrink you back down to one, shrink you down to two. Now we're importing too much steel. Which things could be like a little bit uh, easier. There we go. So our manpower is low. We're at 8.9 thousand. How much political power does it cost to change any of this stuff? It's a lot. We're at a level 7 unrestrained corruption. Uh, beautiful. The clergy is powerful. Business owners are powerful. And the labor unions have some power as well. Um, can I? Probably don't put the foreign jihadis in charge. We're not allowed to to do it because we're not a saladist. We got uh, 30,000 GDP. Our economy is stagnant. Uh, you know what, Japan? I will take your investment. Thank you. I am kind of poor. How much money am I losing right now? I have negative 9.9 .9 billion. I think at a certain point, you just take out a loan automatically. So we're spending 2.3 billion. We're earning 0.9. Not... Fantastic. Uh, I will be uh, honest. We have an extensive welfare state. We could just start cutting all of these social services. Yeah, let's begin the withdrawal process here. We did get uh, 150 political power out of that. So, with that, um, like who's in charge right now? Forward Italy's in charge. 19%. You're, uh, yeah, we're going to keep boosting you. 100 political power. Already at 15% for you guys, which I think is pretty decent. Uh, we don't have any nukes, apparently, but I think that's okay. But what we need, we need to start completely gutting the safety net. We've already, uh, what sort of you? We got large civil service. We just need a giant military and nothing else. If you can also make it into a police state, that might, uh, solve some of our issues here. Good intelligence agency. How much um, factories do I have? I have 11 free right now. Might as well create a uh, information department. I'm not too sure how exactly that really works in uh, Millennium Dawn, but I guess we will find out sooner rather than later. So is there any wars happening in the world? The answer is yes. Mostly down here in Africa. Um, Russia, do you start off out worth anybody? No, you don't. Um, of course, there's the war in Afghanistan right now. Wars. Angola, Congolese, basically there's some civil wars. I think, yeah, you're in Indonesia. Okay. So basically just a bunch of simple wars. Is there anywhere I want to actually get involved in? I don't... I don't believe so. I think we should be fine. Right now we are... I mean, 17% nationalist isn't bad. Is this growing or is it shrinking? 12% support. That, But I am looking at France. Last time I checked, I'm not France. Are you growing or are you shrinking? You were going up by, looks like, 0.03%. Yeah. That means you're probably shrinking, which is nice. We're 72% independent. France is our biggest uh, investor at the moment. Japan, 6%. I mean, they, we did just get a factory from them. And right now, we, yeah, apparently we cannot... 
can't fund the nationalist again, at least for a little bit. We are still poor. Can I gut some more, like, healthcare? We don't need that, right? We do got an excellent cat, though. He's in charge of the security department. So, a free emergency treatment. Yeah, we can cut it in half. Eventually, just... I mean, a free education? No, we, we can't support education. Are you out of your mind? What are we actually spending the most amount of money on? Mostly the bureaucracy, internal security, education, and health care. Welfare still at 5.3 billion. We can save some money here. Basic pensions, but eventually, of course, we're going to want to adjust. All of it will be gone. At some point. Um, but for now... I mean, who, is there anybody who I'm kind of invested in? Italy's at, we're at 19% for Slovenia. 21 Croatia. What about Malta? What are they up to these days? Mostly by the British and us. But of course, we can spend... Some political power. Try to influence probably Croatia first. Yeah, I think they're a little bit less independent. Manipulate their politics. That could make them... I don't need my sound on. You? But I don't want to influence their politics because right now the politics that I have is not what I want to give them. We are going to give them a little bit of economic aid. It's going to cost us $5 billion, but it's going to give us a little bit more influence. I mean, I'm poor, but if I can make the lives of the Croatians better if they support me, then I'm fine cutting everything. Is there anything I cut cheaply? 4.5. So we can save about 11. A, a decent amount. I mean, our poverty popularity is pretty low because we we're cutting all of the services. Who's actually the lead? Right now, the Democratic Party is in charge the most. So you might want to just, uh, just attack them a little bit. Let me get the political power, of course, to do so. I don't need like, the uh, the cheats here. Oh, we can do points. Yeah, just just another Nash's propaganda campaign for ninety days. As far as I can tell, like looking at Article Fifty, it does seem. Yes, uh, I will take some uh, investment. Because it's not an and. It's just right-wing, populist, fascist, military junta, or monarchist. You can just do it. Everybody else, you need a requirement. Okay. But not the reactionaries either. It has to be... Yeah, because you have five-star movement. They're the reactionaries. Uh, Lega Nord should be good for what we need. Probably do like a... I mean, if we just draw... Or just immediately leave. I'm not too sure what the difference is. Nobody's got a face, but you've got like three traits. So I'm going to choose you for now. Like, you've got to be the better choice, I imagine. Okay, let's update the State of the Union. Where are we on here? We are 14% of the population of the European Union. We're now focusing on doing some withdrawal. Apparently, like, this just didn't have any effect, unfortunately. Uh, but I guess for now, an industrial focus wouldn't be too bad. We're probably going to end up abandoning the West for the obvious reason that... You know, they're all part of NATO, and there's a decent chance we're going to be going at war with NATO, so we probably want, like, some friends literally anywhere else. We could manipulate, spread influence, 14 influence, 100 political power. You know what? Let's do it. 26% in support for us. Putin has been elected president. Not, not too crazy. Kind of what you would expect, I think. Like, our troops should be good. We're gonna look at these guys, because Kava was 21. I've never been, like, too sure what an actual decent uh, troop layout for these things actually are. 
Like, 21 just seems like... It's like a weird number. Because the AI always seems to have, like, these super beefy, tanky units. Well, you have actually 100 command power. And not really any way to spend it, I think. Uh, offensive doctrine, sure. But other than that, I think we're going to try to do some uh, counter-terrorism here. Who are we going to... Oh, I mean, apparently I cannot do it. Because our army... Okay, so we're actually... But it's not better than them. There's a severe threat from Yemen. So it's low. So this is based on the popularity of... This party. 3%. So Libya, for example, is moderate significant. You know they only have 3%? Who's, con who's considered low on here? For a main. Even though you've got a higher outlook? I don't... Don't really know. Maybe because it's, it's growing. Like right now, Yemen is apparently our biggest threat. I don't know if I really agree with that, to be completely honest. Because it's, it's Yemen, I really don't think they're going to be posing too much of a threat to us in the, in the long run here. You're going to be 50 political power. What's in the industrial focus? 50 political power. Kind of garbage. Research bonuses, 30%. It's really not that great. But we actually... It costs money for us to develop the economy. Which is understandable, but, like, also sucks. Can I, like, get some declaration of friendship? So you guys will like us more. And then we can eventually join one of their factions, but I don't... I don't think I want to join any of their factions, to be completely honest. What would, like, the military focus here? Anything to, uh... Nah, just some basic research. For good population, 4% is actually, like, a ton. So we might want Army of Quality, because right now our population is 2.9%. Not horrible, but it is modified 95% because of uh, tiny military spending. But I'm also broke. But also, people in Italy, they don't need to go to the hospital. So, you know what? I think that is a decent trade-off here. So Putin has formed a government... Anybody else doing anything uh, too crazy? I don't believe so. I don't remember if I said it to be historical or not, or whether or not that actually makes any difference here. But we shall see. I mean, you guys are nationalist. Yugoslavia, they do. They would probably like us. Join it. Like, can I ask, ask them to create a faction? No, because I don't have the national spirit to do so. But I have been looking. I do know this just creates a, uh, a faction. I can either do a Federation of Romans, which gives me a massive faction. Or I can just attack everybody. So, I think we're going to take the attack everybody, because that might be a little bit more, uh, more interesting. Or it's going to completely screw us over. I don't know. But I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this first episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Ansem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. And now, Joey, call you some down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.